Hi, it's Carrie. In this 5 Minute Friday, I want to address a question that I got on my YouTube channel in the comments, which is, what does it mean to press peer review an electronic search strategy? I talked about press in one of my methods Mondays. So press stands for peer review of electronic search strategies, and it's an article and guideline statement that came out in 2016. Multiple authors, and it goes into great detail about how a search strategy for systematic review should be assessed. And in the key messages, they talk about formalizing the peer review process for librarians and information specialists who are members of SR teams. And then it goes into the elements of press, so checking the searches for translation of the research question, Boolean and proximity operators, subject headings, text word searching, spelling, syntax, line numbers, limits and filters, search strategy, adaptations, and there's much, much more. So I'm going to put a link to this in the video description below. It is a great read. But I have opened up the press site from CADTH, which is Canada's Drug and Health Technology Agency, where a lot of the documentation lives. And you'll find tools in English, tools in French, how to cite, and a version history. What we want is the form itself, and that's the first thing that we see here. You can choose Word or PDF. I'll open Word. And I'm afraid I can't do this all justice. There's more to know about the press, so I would recommend reading up on the documentation. This is the form, the press guideline, search submission, and peer review assessment. So the first part gets filled out by the searcher, the name, email, date submitted, and date requested by. This is usually requested within 5 to 10 business days, as far as I know. Search topic title, and the primary core database strategy is this the first submission or a revision or an update? If you wanted to submit more than one strategy, you could do that too, although you really only need one because you're translating from one and the other shouldn't differ wildly. And then you'll specify which database the strategy is for. You'll talk about the research question. You can give a PICO. All of this is optional. It's only as it pertains to your work. Inclusion and exclusion criteria any search filters applied and explain why or what any other notes and then your search strategy here and then the peer reviewer fills out the second part reviewer name email date completed and then they look at each of those elements translation of the research question boolean and proximity operators for example are there any errors omissions mistakes Subject headings, are they appropriate? Are we missing some? Are there some that don't belong? Same with text words. Spelling, syntax, and line numbers. Limits and filters. And then if any of these are revisions required or revisions suggested, then the overall evaluation needs to be either revisions required or revisions suggested. Or if there are no revisions, then the reviewer checks no revisions. And they can add some commentary down here. So when I do this for other people, I usually write quite a bit about what I'm seeing, what I'm thinking, and what my suggestions are. Now, you can also fill out the simplified form, no revisions, revisions suggested, revisions required, and if you wish to be acknowledged. So it is a good practice to acknowledge the peer reviewer it is a significant amount of work and to cite the press guideline. Now, how do you get these done? If you wanted to submit a search, and this is really for librarians and information specialists, if you wanted to submit a search and maybe get it peer reviewed, let me show you where to do that. This is called pressforum.pbworks.com. The first time you log in, you'll need to request access and someone will grant you access. You need to request access to the tool. Then you can log in, and then here is where you'll be able to submit your search and have it peer reviewed. Now I'm going to recommend 
that before you do any of this, you go into the press forum and you read the instructions for how this is to work. So I clicked on background and instructions, and then here we get a file for instructions for using the press forum. So it's going to tell you how to name your file, where to upload your file, how to claim a review, and how to complete that review. And it does take a little bit of learning. It's not the easiest thing in the world to use. But here are the instructions for submitting your search, for peer reviewing the search, and who to contact if you're having trouble with the site. So that's what it means to peer review a search using press criteria. Now, another way to do this would be to use the press form, but to ask an information specialist friend. So maybe you're using the press form, but you're asking someone with expertise, and you don't have to go through this website, the pressforum.pbworks.com. I hope this helped you a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.